Hi, we're here at HP at Cybos in London, and I'm here with Matt Armstrong Barnes. You're the chief technologist at HPE, and it's a great venue over here today. And you have a great experience and background in AI, and especially in the implementation. Can you share some specific pitfalls that companies are facing? Yeah, sure, there's quite a few actually when it comes to going on the AI journey. And one of the things I talk to quite a lot of customers about is, artificial intelligence is a journey, not a destination. And some of the pitfalls you encounter are things like an inelastic infrastructure. So you need the right infrastructure to be in place that gives you the flexibility to deploy your AI workloads in the right kind of way. The other challenges we see are artificial intelligence projects that start out as interesting science projects. So when it comes to going on the AI journey, really find a use case that's going to drive the right kind of business value. Just because you have a hammer with the word artificial intelligence on it, don't think of everything as a nail. And finally, make sure that you've got the right governance regimes in place. Mm -hmm. Too much governance and you'll stifle innovation, and too little governance and you run the risk of an AI project turning into an interesting science project. This is more, let's say, the high level. Can we go a little bit more in depth? So what concrete steps should companies take? Yeah, definitely. So we, ha we have a methodology which is explore, experiment, evolve. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is find the use cases that you want to execute against. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they're the right ones and are underpinned by some core data. Mm -hmm. Once you've got that, really make sure that the data that you've got is underpinned by a collection of business users. Once you've got that formed into a coherent message, really start to prove the value. Mm -hmm. Don't think of proving the concept of AI because it's been around for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it's going to address the right kind of business case, give you the right kind of value. Once you've done that, it's more a case of continuing on the journey. Start to look for more use cases and evolve what you're doing to make sure that AI is really going to add the right kind of business value to your organization. And we're here at Cybos, yes. many financial institutions. Do you have some finance cases that you can share? The big spenders in AI are, uh, have been retail, mm -hmm. um, but the second biggest spender is um, banking and financial services. And for banking and financial services customers, the major use cases we're seeing being addressed around back office automation, but also complex fraudulent transactions. So things like anti-money laundering. And for example, at HPE, we've been developing some great technology around swarm learning, mm -hmm. which is taking artificial intelligence, fusing it together with blockchain and allowing distributed artificial intelligence to work across things like complex credit card transactions to allow um, one specific type of credit card fraud or um, anti-money laundering activities to be spread across multiple entities within the swarm that really kind of drives that, um, how to address this complicated, and the complicated fraud that we're seeing today. Matt, thanks for sharing your insights. The swarm learning we're going to discuss later on today, so we're going to more in depth. Thank you for watching here from HPE booth at Cybos in London. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get notifications of my new video.